Okay, so we're going to have a quick lesson in how to count in binary. This is for AS91371. And it follows on from the other tutorial about why computers use binary. So the first thing I'm going to do is to write out a number line. Go units, twos, fours, eights, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. You'll see there's a pattern. And the pattern is that it goes uh, up in units of um, doubling. So two, double to four, 32, double to 64, and so on. So the next number over here will be 512. <clears throat> so I'm just going to um, reel off some numbers. You'll see how the pattern works. Interesting to note here, units can be zeros and ones. Binary, of course, is in using only two digits, the zero digit and the one digit. So I'm just going to show you how numbers work over here. So we're going to do a um, decimal numbers going down the side. I'm going to count to 10 to start with. So to do um, the number 1 in binary, we go along here. 256 is too big. 2 is too big. So we just have one unit. So 1 equals 1. Of course, 0 equals 0. So we're going to do a number 2. So go along, we get to number two here, so we would have one, two, plus no units. So this is how it's worked out. It's a two plus zero. So we've got a two plus zero. Number three, work along. Now four is too big. So we'd go, we need a two and a one. So how is that worked out? It's a two plus a one. Notice that we don't call it 11. Okay, three is, the, um, is, is represented by the two digits, one and one. So let's do four. We need a four, no twos, no units. How it's calculated, it's four plus zero plus zero. Let's do five, and eight is too much. So to make up a five, we would need a four. Now, four and two is six, so that's too much. So we don't need a two, and we need a unit. So how it works out is four plus zero plus one. So six is a four and a two, and no units. And it's dead easy. So we can do seven. Eight is too big, so we do a uh, a four, a two, and a one. And we go into eight, so we've got an eight, no fours, no twos, no units. Nine will be an eight and a one. And a ten will be an eight and a two. Okay, there's an interesting pattern. We can see that odd numbers always have a one as the last digit. That's kind of obvious really though, because um, a, an odd number must have uh, a single digit at the end because all the rest are even. Okay, we'll just do a slightly more complicated one. I'll do number 57. So to calculate 57, we do this. We go along and we basically say, okay, which number is the largest number that can fit in there? So we've got 32. So 32. Now 32, work along. 32 and 16 is 48. We're looking for 57. So we've got to 48. 48 and 8 is 56. So we want one more, so we've got 48 and 8 is 56. So we don't need a 4, we don't need a 2, we need a 1. So that should be 57, let's double check. So we've got 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So we go units, 
twos, fours, eights, sixteens, and thirty twos. So we've got thirty two plus sixteen plus eight plus zero plus zero plus one. Thirty two and sixteen, forty two, forty eight, fifty six, fifty seven. That works for any number. Um, if we were to quickly calculate what numbers go beyond 256, they're really easy. 512, 1024, 2048, and so on, 4096. Some of these numbers are quite significant. Uh, we will get into later. For example, 256, if you are used to red, green, blue numbers, um, there's 255. 255, 255, if you did uh, red, green, blue numbers that are sometimes used on computers, that's white. Why 255? Well, uh, next lesson.